Hey guys, I'm Yahya, and uh, today I'm going to give you an overview of uh, Delta V software of DCS. So let's start. In the start menu, you can see that uh, we have several several options here: Delta V Explorer, Delta V Operate Configure, Delta V Workstation Configuration, Configuration Assistant. So in Delta V Explorer. So we have all the main options like uh, we make control here and uh, we configure the alarms, we configure the historians and uh, in data administration we make new database for ourselves and uh, <coughs> we can back up and restore our database from here. And uh, in Delta we operate configure option we uh, made our HMI. So uh, in Delta we operate configure uh, we make our HMI and in Delta we operate run we run those HMIs which we have made uh, in Delta V operate configure. So in Delta V workstation configuration, we configure our workstations. I will tell you about the idea of uh, uh, workstations that how many types of workstations we have. So I will tell you in detail. And uh, now let's start the Explorer. Now this is uh, Delta V Explorer software. And uh, here you can see that we have uh, different options like uh, we have library and uh, in library you can see that we have uh, device definition and by template, function block template. So in functional block templates you can see that we have uh, different kinds of templates here. Advanced control, advanced uh, analog control, energy metering, IO, logical, so you can see that uh, in I.O. we have uh, these kind of things, A.I., A.L.M., A.O. I will tell you in detail that uh, what are these things and uh, how they work. This is the logical section. And in module templates, you can see that uh, we have uh, motors of two-state motors and motors three-state and then valves normally closed and valves normally open. So in case of normally closed valve, we will use this kind of template, and in case of normally open valve, we will use this kind of template. So downwards we have, uh, you can see that uh, we have areas. So uh, first we will uh, define the area. Uh, in the start of the uh, programming, we will define area. So I will tell you that how we will define the area, and in area we have different types of control modules. Here you can see that we have uh, assigned modules. These are all the control modules. So you can see that we have different types of control modules here. Uh, AI, analog input control module, this is, and uh, this is cascade control module. And uh, down there we have different types of control modules. I will tell you about all the types of control modules in detail later. And uh, this is the interlock control module, and uh, we have different types of control modules here. So here, guys, here is the application section of the software. In application section, you can see that we have different options. System alarm management, configuration assistant, IO configuration, and uh, control studio, user manager, Delta V operate configure inside Delta V operate run process CPU. These are all the different softwares where we do different kind of things. Like in system alarm management, we configure our alarm. In I/O configuration, we configure our inputs and outputs. In control studio, we do all the programming of our <coughs> project. So let's start with control studio.
uh, we have different kind of option here uh, for the logic control and uh, lab entry MPC and uh, in analog control you can see that we have different options control selector limit and uh, filter the PID block and ratio splitter uh, the splitter block uh, works uh, in the split range and uh, this ratio block works in the ratio control. So I will tell you about the regulatory controls that how they work and uh, how these blocks work. So you can see that uh, here we have uh, our parameter option. We can change the parameters from here. So if we click on the AI block, then these parameters are the parameters of AI block. So we can change the AI parameters from here. You can see the different options like we have PV here, simulate here, and uh, we have mode, and we have uh, high, high limit, high, high X. I will tell you in detail that how these parameters work and how we'll change the parameters. So now uh, come on PID. So you can see the parameters of PID here, that we have different kinds of parameters here, and uh, you can see the gain, and you can see the input, and you can see the uh, out option here, and uh, you can see the set point SP option here. So I will tell you that how we uh, will give the set point and how we will give the parameters to PID. And now this is AO, analog output. So these are the parameters of analog output. So you can see here that uh, uh, we have a mode option, we have out option, and uh, we have set point option. So you can see that uh, these parameters, how they work, and uh, I will tell you in detail that uh, how these parameters work here. So now I'm going to run this uh, control loop so you can see that uh, how this control loop looks like when it uh, runs. So guys, this is the control loop that uh, so, uh, now I'm going to change the set point. Set point is 75 now, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to give it 90 value. All right, and uh, now I'm going to change the simulate value, the input value, the PV value. I'm going to change it now, and uh, this is zero, so I am going to change it on 45. So now you are uh, watching that. Uh, this is this output is changing now. This is 83, 84. I will tell you in detail that how this output is changing and how this is uh, all doing. And uh, I will tell you in detail about all the software and all the control and how it is working. So now we are uh, going towards the HMI section. In Delta, we operate configure. We made our HMI. Guys, these are the icons of uh, different icons, and uh, you can see that uh, this is the alarm bell icon. So we will uh, launch our alarm from here, and uh, this is uh, these are different icons. You can see here that we have uh, now Delta V operate is uh, going to start. So let me tell you first about the Delta V operate configure software and how it works and. Uh, So 
otherwise I'm going to open a uh, picture for you. Guys, this is a simple uh, HMI which uh, I have made earlier in the project. Uh, so you can see that uh, this is a PID block and this is a valve and this is uh, a temperature indicator. So I will uh, tell you in detail that how we will make the object and uh, object of PID, object of uh, uh, valve and object of temperature indicator and the navigation, how we operate the navigation. So you will learn in detail in the training and in the upcoming uh, lecture, I will uh, upload the details for you people uh, so you can learn more. So guys, this is it uh, from today's section. I will upload more videos in detail about uh, DCS, that how DCS works and uh, how program how we do programming and how we do uh, the configuration of alarms and configuration of uh, HMIs and uh, how we operate all the systems. So if you want to learn in detail, so let's join our training so you can uh, learn more about the DCS that how it works. We will also work on oil and gas projects in that training. So you will learn in detail and uh, I'm sure that uh, if you get that training, you can work on any kind of PCS in that uh, training and uh, thank you, take care of